Dad. Hey, hey. Dr. Wagner, uh, this is my wife, Carrie. Hi. Well, pleased to meet you. Oh, same here. Thank hey, you. We just went out to dinner, and, and guess what? She ate more than me. <laughs> yeah, I had a salad, half a sandwich, and an iced tea. Who is this guy? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so, y'all set to get yeah, started? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to use the men's room. Okay. And then you go back to work on me. This guy, I'm telling you, he's amazing. I wish I, wish I had more problems for him to fix. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Got a good man there. Yeah, good man. Question. Uh, you have a sec? I, I, I suppose so. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, what if Doug did have other problems to fix? You know, hypothetically, could you just kind of throw those in there while you're talking about the weight thing? Uh, but sure, of course. I mean, my job is to steer the ship wherever the patient needs it to go. Yeah, you know where you might want to steer things? Doug's TV problem. <laughs> he watches it a lot. Kind of got a zombie thing going on there. Think you could spend some time with him on that? Uh, well, I, I could, but Doug would have to bring it up. Sure, I, yes, I would never want you to push it there. You know, obviously, you know what you're doing. You're a very talented man. Oh. <laughs> mm. Anyway, whatever you can uh, do about the TV uh, thing, that would be great. Um, yeah, but, uh, you know, it, it's really up to Doug, though. Yeah, yeah, it's just that Doug might need a little little nudge, you know, like just a little bitty little nudge. My mother would make dinner for me every night, but after she got that job at the community center, she, she just stopped. I was only seven years old. You must have felt somewhat abandoned. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I felt completely abandoned. I mean, she only worked every other Tuesday, and still. <laughs> longest month of my life. <laughs> So, uh, what did you do on those uh, nights until she got home? I don't know. I'd watch TV or, oh, God. I used to rip the head off my, you know, G.I. Joe doll, and I'd stick it on top of a ketchup bottle and make them bleed through the ears. <laughs> it was awesome. Well, speaking of TV... All right, baby, have a good time. Okay, I'll see you at home. Okay. Psst. Hi. One second. Uh, I'll be with you in just a moment, though. Okay. Hi, I just want to say great job on the TV thing. You are like the Michael Jordan of psychotherapy. <laughs> no, 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 maybe Carl Malone, maybe. Uh, I, you know, it's just that now that Doug's watching a lot less TV, we're having a lot more sexual time, uh, which is good, but it could be better. <laughs> That's where you come in. I'm taking Doug to his therapy session. You are? Mm hmm But but I always do that. Uh, yeah, but we're going to the driving range after. See, now that he's dropped a few pounds, he can actually see the ball on the tee. <laughs> Damn, but I really need to talk to his therapist. I need you to do me a favor. OK. Uh, what's the favor? Give this to the guy. And whatever you do, do not let Doug see it. OK. What is it? It's a recipe. <laughs> For clam chowder. And you don't have to read it, sweetie. It's the normal stuff, you know, clams, potatoes. Doug needs to be more spontaneous, uh, less pouty. What is this? All right, it's, it's a list for his therapist, things I want Doug to work on. I kind of do it to nudge his therapy in the right direction. And Doug doesn't know this? No, if he knew about it, he wouldn't go for it. I mean, he needs <sighs> to think it's coming from the therapist. Why, is that a horrible thing to do? <laughs> Hand me the pen. <laughs> 